Hi everyone and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force. Um, we are continuing our way in down the barrel of the Dreadnought now that we've woken up all these drones and it is always drones. But really they don't pose much of a threat to us, not when I'm uh, carrying this Tetrion rifle. As you can see they don't really do too much damage and don't take too much of a beating before they blow up. So, let's just have a quick look around here. Now, that's the way through over there, but we're just going to double back on ourselves into this room. Because we've got more drones. But also, just to show you this room, I'm not going to be using it for the moment, because uh, there's nothing really in here that I want. Uh, yeah, they're not really posing much of a threat. Their explosion doesn't do damage either, as far as I'm aware. And as you can see, there's two uh, weapon energy terminals, which we're not quite using yet, and two life terminals as well. So there's a uh, awful lot of neat stuff in here, and this thing, which pumps a lot. But uh, aside from that, not much that we're going to use, so onwards and upwards, or downwards, or wherever we're going. Onwards and onwards, that'll do. Strange writing. Again, not really anything that's going to hurt us too much at this point. But why do I always get the feeling that these things are... Uh, they're going to change on us at some point, aren't they? Oh, I guess it's up to me to open the door, is it, now that Chell isn't around? Always the way, isn't it? Yeah, about that whole not really being a threat thing. How about no? Quick, get away from it. Fortunately, this thing can only attack in melee range, so if you uh, stay away from it, you can eventually kill it. Yeah, maintenance bot. Of course, that's what it is. Showing off the alternate firing mode of my gun there. Like the only way to move on is down this lift where the robot came. Well, let's get down there. It was a boss character, right? There can't be too much more of that sort of stuff hanging around. Uh, yeah, the alternate firing mode on the Tetrion Disruptor is basically a... Uh, it's a high-power ping-pong ball. It just basically bounces around off all the uh, targets in the room. And once again, we're in here uh, killing stuff and lots of stuff. But we're back, fortunately, to just the spider drones at this point, and they're not really going to cause us too much of a trouble. There is a hovering drone back there, but again, shoots missiles doesn't really pose too much of a threat to us. I think the exploding crates are probably a bit more of a threat to us. You can see that there's a, a dilithium crystal up there at the top. I probably should go and get that, but I really couldn't be bothered. Um, there's plenty of ammo in this mission overall, really. As you can see, a bit more ammo here, a bit more over here, and we're already pretty much full on our gun anyway. And uh, I guess we go through this door, but first, this thing on the ground. What did you pick up? Some kind of welding tool, but it makes a decent weapon. I'll say. Yes, decent weapon if you mean I am Thor, God of Thunder. This thing, the arc welder, is unbelievably powerful. As uh, you can see here, it shoots out a massive bolt of lightning. So therefore, it's just about the most awesome thing in the world. And whoa, boss drones, boss drones, boss drones. Yeah, the arc welder kicks the crap out of boss drones as well. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. But I suppose we had to have some kind of uh, compatriot to the fact we are currently holding a personal photon torpedo launcher. However, I'm showing a little bit of restraint at the moment and just deciding not to use it. 
Um, can't say that that attitude is going to stay the same throughout this whole mission. However, for now, I'm just going to be a good boy and play with my lightning gun. We've got to get up there somehow. Well, I just guess we have to go with the tried and tested method. If there's a button, push it. Hmm, this thing looks interesting. Something around here. Is there a button on it? Oh, button. Push it. Um. I didn't do it. Well, it's given us a route up there, I suppose, but uh, I suggest the aliens build their ships out of less flimsy things. If uh, just a crane moving into it at very slow miles an hour is enough to cause the whole thing to collapse. Uh, refilled the gun there where I really shouldn't have done. I should have shot this thing first. I did see it. But that's more about optimal use of armor, and I don't think that uh, I'm anywhere near on that level for this game yet. Yeah, spider drones versus an arc welder. They could pretty much fill a room full of uh, spider drones, and it wouldn't help them. Uh, the boss drones really are about the only thing that uh, are going to threaten you from here on out, and even then, they're only going to threaten you when they're in decent, uh, decent numbers. Um, still, I was just tempted to see if I could get down there to get the ammo, but uh, it's really not a big deal. Yeah, just ping down these two guys. Excellent, Monroe. You are approaching the barrel. The tram should be nearby. Take it down to the plasma focusing chamber. You must hurry. Yeah, the mission takes a little bit of a change in tone at this point because. I thought that we had a ton of time uh, until vo the Dreadnought or the Harvester got to Voyager, but apparently now we're in some kind of humongous major hurry. So uh, obviously there's some time distortion type thing going on here as well. Okay, so after our cool little ride there on the tram, we're heading towards the plasma focusing chamber, and that doesn't look too good. Wow. Careful. That looks like superheated iron gas. You can the flesh right off your bones. Great. Oh, you mean like the stuff that we walked into earlier when we were on Voyager? Now, this is the expedient way to do it, and not at all a result of complete trial and error where I got really frustrated for about 20 minutes because I'd forgotten where to go. You'll see here that the iron gas is being carried by a sort of yellow pipe. So if we follow it all the way through here, shooting up some robots as we go, you'll see there that it goes down through a force field and into a uh, sort of into a. Well, I guess that's what it's coming out of that reactor there. Why this ship would have a uh, pipeline spraying out superheated ionic gas um, deliberately uh, is I have absolutely no idea and after a little bit of a cut there which uh, again of course was completely wasn't due to me getting lost let's go down here and uh, you'll notice a little bit of a crawl space here which I'm having major trouble getting into but anyway there we go into the crawl space following a couple of already suspiciously dead uh, mite type things, the uh, creepy crawly things that we've had to fight all the time that apparently uh, survive in space or something. And um, yep, all we've got to do is shoot out this generator eventually. But it burns so bad because I shot it when I was really close to it. 
Oh well. Arc welder back out and it's time to proceed with the mission. At least getting as far as we possibly can. I do like the way the arc welder looks, it's just like lightning all over the place. And we're looking towards the plasma Whoa, Bostro. And it's dead. And more spider drones, so they're obviously taking defending this area a little bit more seriously. They had, uh, they had quite a few guys there, really. Alright, let's keep going down this corridor. <laughs> Looks fairly clear. Mere turrets cannot stop the God of Thunder. Yeah, that's a uh, another. That's a blue weapon terminal. That isn't going to help us. Ugh, more turrets. These things actually do chuck out quite a lot of damage. Okay, through this door. A suspicious long corridor. Oh, boss drone at the end of the. Ah, boss drone here. Right, he's dead, and that one's dead as well. Never got anywhere near us. Running a bit low on ammo here could really do with. Uh, hmm. Looks interesting. Oh, it's just one of the hover drones. Yeah. Oh, and that looks like dilithium crystals. Let's go and get some of those. Yep. I do like the way the windows, uh, you know, show the forge out there. I think that's a nice little touch. And. Uh, Hmm. Guess there's nowhere to go but in here. That looks pretty cool and ugh. Oh dear, if you look at where the plasma is, it's hitting the door. I tell you what, that's one tough door. We want to try and get through that. You are in plasma Do you see the door? It's definitely missing. Other side, you say? Well, let's see how uh, let's see how we get on with that. Another dead spider drone, but looks like it's pretty hard to get to the other side. Anyway, the god of thunder will jump through the middle. Uh, but I'm the god of thunder. How could this happen? What do you mean my judgment leaves much to be desired? Oh, that's it, the God of Thunder is now angry. And we're back to uh, this point, so it's literally a case of I'm now going to spray lightning everywhere and just be downright vengeful. I was being restrained earlier, that restraint is now going to be abandoned. Turret my backside. Yeah, you're all going down. At this point, I'm basically just holding the left mouse button down. Yeah, that wasn't the cleverest shot on my behalf. I wasted a lot of ammo there. And now I know that the other boss drone's coming, so I'm just waiting. For Chang to walk in front of me, you idiot. Oh, I'm out of ammo for my uh, lightning rod, am I? I guess we're going to have to settle for God of Hellfire then, rather than God of Thunder. How about this? Yep, that is acceptable. When you can't shoot it with lightning, shoot it with an enormous explosive. Words to live by in an FPS, I find. This is how you kill stuff. Did I mention this thing can almost rapid fire? Use a lot of ammo, but screw that, I'm angry. Eat this. You are in the plasma focusing chamber. Do you see the problem? I see it. It's definitely missing. How are we going to fix that? I think I see some computer cards on the other side. Okay, so those of you in the know will realise that you have to come out of the plasma focusing room and you do end up going through this door. I appear to have a phaser out at this point. Get the proper gun out. There we go. It's hammer time!
the gravitic Okay, so we're back at the beginning of the ship here again. Same gimmick where uh, the gravitic plating is just off so we can jump extremely large distances. Hmm, I think I see a spider drone up there. <laughs> Aim? I love seeing bits of the drone just going flying all over the place. But yeah, standard gimmick, you just have to make fairly big jumps because the uh, gravity's off. It's only really in this room. But, uh... It's okay, I suppose. Oh, a drone just took a shot at me from behind me. That's your life. I can't believe I missed with this thing. Honestly. That costs a lot of energy missing, but fortunately there's a blue energy weapon terminal, and I'm going to be using those an awful lot in the uh, coming episode, I suppose. Okay, so we're just going to let this lift go down and get Austin and... Uh, you know what? I don't even know the name of the other guy who's coming up. He's that relevant to the plot of this game. Uh, but we're going to get uh, Austin up here because we need to get through a door and we don't have our uh, engineering genius door opener Chell here with us in order to make things easier for us. So, Austin, just see if you can do something with a little bit of boom boom bang bang. The door is locked, sir. Tuvok said he disabled all the security locks. Too bad Chell isn't here. There's some micro fissures in the door structure. I think I can blow it. Take cover. I wouldn't be much of a demolitionist if I couldn't blow up a door. Like Chell, good point, well made. Although I like how Austin's idea of taking cover is walking 15 feet away from a door that couldn't be uh, from an explosion that's going to take down a door that couldn't be punctured through with one of those like major plasma lasers that's in the other room. <laughs> Bits of drone just flying everywhere. And yes, I know we're supposed to be going to the plasma room. This is the way to do it. It's just the extremely long way around. But don't forget we had to go up, so it's just a going up to go down kind of thing, really. And I think that we are now on the other side of the plasma chip. Yeah, die. That's what I meant by saying that this thing can fire extremely quickly or almost rapid fire. That should be a full arc welder I've got there now. Yes, it is. So we're going to go back to being the god of thunder, I think, on this side for a bit. Although I can't promise the photon torpedo launcher isn't coming out. And one control panel later, and we should have this realigned. Here we go. Yep, perfect. The plasma stream is realigned. Well done. Now, proceed to the firing chamber and load the charge. I love how earlier with that laser in the other room, we had the... Uh, to go through the ignominy of using four different control panels and another control panel to fire the laser. Whereas this time, where you've got that dirty, great big, huge thing shooting at the door instead of where it should be, one control panel sorts it all out. Just makes things so much easier. Anyway, we'll finish this next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching.